Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. I'm 100% sure that you're so excited and so anxious to know what the first lab is all about. So when you talk of the first lab, first histology lab, this is the shortest lab. And in this lab, you're going to be explained some different instruments that are used in the lab. One of the most important devices that you shall be exposed to are the microtome and also the microscope. And during this lab, you shall be taught the do's and don'ts of the histology lab. How you're supposed to handle yourself, what you can do, and what you're not supposed to do when you're doing your histology lab. However, in this tutorial video, I'm just simply going to explain what you need to focus on or some of the important parts that comes from the storage labs in the final exams and tests. So please make sure that you register with Excel Academy and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I have stated, my major focus is on the exam questions. I'm interested much in this lab because majority of students, they do not give this part of the, uh, of the lab that much attention and they all just start from the lab too. So please, let's quickly look at some of the exam questions. So in this case, we have been given this device and the first question is name the instrument. So when you talk of tissue, preparation, you're going to understand that tissue preparation, histological tissue preparation, it has various stages of which we said the first stage in tissue preparation is fixation. This is where the tissue is being fixed. This is whereby the tissue is being preserved to protect the morphological and also the chemical component of a tissue. We also said during this stage, you need to understand that we are also uh, doing this stage to make sure that we can initiate staining. From tissue fixation, we talked about the next step, which is tissue processing. And this tissue processing was being divided into three stages. We talked about dehydration, clearing, and lastly, embedding. After embedding, we simply talked about a very important part of tissue preparation, which is tissue sectioning. During tissue sectioning, this is whereby a tissue is now being made or cut into small pieces, and these small pieces can easily be stained and can easily be viewed using a microscope. So during that part, that's where this question that's where this device comes in. So when you talk of this device, the name of this device is just known as the word, the microtome. So when you talk of a microtome, a microtome is a very important device in histology such that this device helps us to cut the tissue into small pieces so that they can easily be stained and viewed using a microscope. The next question that you can be asked on this device is that state the use of the device shown. Like I have stated, this is just used for what? This is used for tissue sectioning, tissue sectioning or cutting, tissue sectioning or cutting, whereby a tissue is being cut into small pieces and these pieces are very helpful for us to see and for us to also stain the, the tissue. Let's quickly look at another device of interest during the histology lab one. The, first the second device that we can talk about is the microscope. We need to understand that Histology is carried in such a way that we are looking at things that we cannot see using our naked highest. As a result, 
an important instrument is being used to view the content of a tissue. Remember what we talked about? A tissue is made up of different parts and this content cannot be viewed using our naked eyes. As a result, we use this important device which is a microscope. So during the first histology lab, you'll be shown the different part of the microscope and you also be told to know how to use a microscope, how to see the different component of a tissue using a microscope. So in this histology lab, it's very important for you to know the different parts of a microscope. But not only that, you also need to know how they are used and their uses. So let's quickly look at another part of the exam which you shall be examined on. So look at this microscope. This is how the exam is. They'll give you a, a picture and in this picture, they'll give you to identify one of the parts and also to state the function of each part. So it's very important as a student who is doing um, histology to be able to understand the parts of a microscope, their uses, and also to be able to identify without having any difficulties. Take note that a microscope, a light microscope, cannot view everything. For example, like I previously stated during the, the study of cells, I stated that an important thing that cannot be viewed using a microscope is a ribosome. Ribosomes cannot be viewed using a microscope because of them having a, a lower resolving power. Because we need to understand that the resolving power of a light microscope is 0 0.2 micrometers. That simply means that we cannot view anything that is less than that using a light microscope. Okay, let me quickly look at this question. So, please take note that the question won't come all of those things, no. They'll either just give you A, B, C, or any parts which I've just illustrated. So, please make sure that you understand. Make sure that you follow up every part and make sure that you write them down. Not only that, remember that Excel Academy is just next to you excel academy has opened up its new branch at Ridgeway campus and also excel academy has continued to offer its services at main campus so what's stopping you from joining us when we are just so close to you and we are providing our excellent services physically to you let's quickly start with a what is a so the, the answer for A is that A is known as the ocular lens or the eyepiece. And the function of the ocular lens or the eyepiece is just to remagnify the image formed by the objective lens. We need to understand that the resolving power of a microscope depends on the objective lens. So the image the primary image of anything that you are viewing, it is made by the objective lens. So when you talk of A, A is just what? The ocular lens or the eyepiece. And this eyepiece or ocular lens, it depends on the objective lens. So it just remagnifies the image which has been formed by the objective lens. Okay? Let's quickly look at B. B is one of the components which people do not give attention, yet it is very, very important. B is the body. And this body is just transmit the image from the objective lens to the ocular lens using the prisms. So you need to understand that the objective lens will make the image. Now this image need to be magnified by the ocular lens or the eyepiece. So 
The body, its main job is just to transmit the image from the objective lens to the what? To the ocular lens or the eyepiece. Take note of that. Let's quickly look at C. C is just the objective lens, which forms the primary, okay? The primary image. The image that you see on the ocular lens or the eyepiece was first made on the objective lens transmitted through the body then you were able to see it on the eyepiece after it was remagnified by the eyepiece or the ocular lens the other important part is the stretch which just holds the microscope um, the microscope slides in position so on this stage that's where this part this is where you put your slide and this slide will be ma uh, will be magnified using the objective lens and these lenses um, can be put at the high power median power and also the low power so make sure that you understand that it is on this stage that's why you put your slide and then you use this objective lens to view that slide and this this uh, this this image formed by the objective lens will be transmitted through the body and then it will be remagnified using the high piece or the ocular lens the next part which we need to look at it is this part so when you talk of this part what is its name this is just the condenser you need to understand that this condenser is working together with the what illuminator so the illuminator will be the source of light will produce the light because we are talking about a light microscope it needs a source of light so the illuminator will produce the light and this light will be focused on the slide on the specimen by the what by the condenser so please make sure that you register with excel academy make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel i'll continue bringing good um, information quality services to you so that you'll be able to 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 follow up um, as you study um, your program so the next part is the diaphragm which just controls the amount of light entering the condenser so the diaphragm its main job is just to control the 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 light which is entering the 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 what the the, the light microscope so you need to understand that when the light is too much when the light is too much this light might end up breaking so even your demonstrator your tutor or your lab um your lab instructors they'll tell you to make sure that the light is not that much the light is being controlled because if the light is too much you end up breaking the the slide and you will not be able to appreciate the last part is the coarse focusing knob which moves the stage up and down to the, to focus the words the the image this guy so this guy is just moves the 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 what the the image up and down okay so that you are able to to view the image properly this part which is the coarse focusing knob is just there to move the stage so this part is the one which is moving the stage this stage here so this stage here this part this whole thing this is a stage this whole stage will be moved up or what up or down by using the what the the coarse focusing knob this coarse focusing knob it has also a fine focusing knob this fine focusing knob is just there to move the 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 stage to to the left or right to the left or right okay so course focusing knob is moving the the stage up and down and then when you talk of the fine focusing knob it's just moving the the stage left or right so guys these are just some of the important parts of of a microscope that you need to know and i'm begging you to make sure that you know each part 
you know its function because you are going to be examined in when you talk of the histology test and also the histology uh, final exam take note of this other uh, device which i just talked about which is the microtome and also its uses like i have been telling you guys please let's not wait for when things are out of hand this is the right time we can cooperate you and us as excel academy you register with us we have we have hired tutors who can guide you what stage what's supposed to be done what are you required to do okay so we know right now some of you have yet have not yet made a decision but trust me this is the right time to register with excel academy because we are the best and we are good at what we do so guys make sure that you register with excel academy by just contacting me on whatsapp using the line 0965887474 remember dog possibility and the team we are here for you we shall stand with you and we shall always guide i wish you the best as you start your histology practicals this week stay blessed and don't forget to register with excel academy